welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie and today I'm sharing with you my bulk organic Azure Standard grocery haul. Now, if you're not familiar with Azure Standard, it is a small local company here. It's based in Oregon and they source organic bulk foods and distribute them all across the country. So you can order from anywhere in the country, you can order online. It does not come to your home, but it does come to a central drop location near you. There are many drop locations and it comes at a designated time on a designated day every month. Through Azure, you can order bulk storage items like buckets and jars and different things like that to store your goods in, as well as you can get things like apple cider vinegar by the gallon and coconut oil by the gallon. And I'm going to tell you the prices of all of these items in just a minute. But first, I want to share with you a couple of ways that you can make the most of your Azure standard bulk organic grocery haul and things that I have learned along the way. Before you place your order, be sure to scroll down on the menu and check out the sale items and the items that you can get Azure cash back on. Now that Azure cash back is going to show up after you place your order and you're going to be able to use that cash back on your next month's order. There are items that have three times cash back, five times cash back, 10 times cash back. So, those might be items that you can use to get more money back on your future purchases. You also want to check the sales and you want to check the closeout items and the damaged good items. Items that are still good, but have damage, obviously. So you're going to save money there as well. But you want to place your order before the cutoff because if you happen to miss the cutoff, then you have to wait a whole nother month to place your order. You want to put the largest bulk amount of a particular item that you want that you can possibly get, you know, minus the huge one ton tote bags. Um, but you put that in your cart and then check the stock again before the cutoff so that you know where you need to make your adjustments. If they don't have that particular item, you might have to downsize and get a very small item of that particular item, or you'll have to get a smaller quantity, or maybe they don't have it available at all. Maybe they are completely sold out. When you get your products home, you're going to want to write the prices on your individual products so that next time you go to order, you can just check the prices, compare prices. Maybe the prices went back up. Maybe they're going to come back down. Uh, but it's nice to have the prices of your bulk organic items written down and maybe write them down in a smaller quantity. Here I wrote down the raw uh, honey price. This is a 12 pound jug of honey and I wrote down the total price and then I wrote down what it was per quart. And I've done that on each one of these products. I have broken the pricing down into the smaller quantities, what it might cost if you were to buy a smaller quantity in the grocery store, let's say. When you get your products home, you wanna be sure to freeze your dry good products. If you have a 25 pound bulk bag of flour, you're going to want to put that into the freezer or a bulk bag of oatmeal, whatever it is that you have that is a dried good item. You're going to want to stick that in the freezer and make sure that you freeze it for three days. That's going to kill any bugs or eggs or anything that is in your dried goods. I know it sounds crazy, but flour and grains and things like that do have teeny tiny little eggs and bugs and things like that. And I'm all of it does, all of the dried goods in the stores and everywhere does. Unless that item is baked or frozen, um, those bugs are going to hatch and grow within six months time. So you're gonna want to take things like uh, your nine grain mix, go ahead and throw this into your freezer for three days and then you can take it out and let it come to room temperature and put it in your long-term storage containers. Another thing I like to do is cut the labels off of my Azure standard product and I will put that label inside of the jar so that it can be seen on the outside of the jar. Most of these things are going to go into things like these glass jars that I got from Azure standard or my mason jars that I already have here. Um, but cutting these out and placing them on the jar, either taping them or putting them inside before the product goes in, is going to help you identify what exactly is in there. You're going to have your price listed on there so you can do your price comparison as you're doing your grocery shopping you know, the rest of the month, the rest of the year, that kind of thing. Um, so I just cut these off and I cut the labels off and I will stick them down in the jar that they're going to be stored in. I will show you what I mean by that. Here I have 
some pearl barley and I went ahead and um, cut the label out and stuck it inside of here and then I poured my barley into the jar and the nutrition facts are on the back. These are just stuck in there loose. There's no tape. There's nothing else in there. Just the paper. Okay, the last thing you want to do to make sure that you are making the most of your Azure standard order is write the dates that you have put the products into the jars, write the dates on the products that you have so that you know if you don't use them up, they're going to expire and that you are sure that you know how long you've had that product in your home so that you can be using it up and not wasting your food. We don't want to waste food here. No, no, no. So it's just real easy to do. You can take a permanent marker and write directly on the jars, on the containers. Um, and this comes off with alcohol. So I write on all my jars with a permanent marker. It helps me keep track of all the different kinds of foods that we have. One perk of ordering from Azure Standard is if you share your referral code or your referral link, you can do that either sharing uh, product links like I'm gonna share with you down in the description below. If you purchase from one of those product links from Azure Standard using one of my links specifically down below, you're also going to get your own referral code that you can use. You can give it to your friends and when your friends order from Azure Standard, you're going to get $25 credited to your account as well. This is an unlimited amount, so the more people you refer, the more $25 credits you're going to be getting onto your account you use the links down below in order with my referral links that helps me out so much and I really appreciate it without further ado I'm going to share with you guys what I got in this month's Azure Standard order okay, I'm going to come all the way back here and I'm going to start from the back and work my way forward and share with you guys exactly everything that I got okay so back here I got these two gallon buckets I got three of these buckets and I also got three of these gamma seal lids now, you've seen in my previous Azure Standard that these Gamma Seal lids are really cool because they have a waterproof, airproof seal around the edge. Once you have these secured on top of your buckets, you can easily get in and out of your bucket with this awesome lid. And so these are the two gallon lids and I'm gonna be putting inside of this two gallon bucket um, this nine grain mix. Now, these buckets were a pack of three for $10.95, and these Gamma Seal lids was a pack of three for $16.20. Okay, back here I got this huge jug of dish soap, and this dish soap was $14.19 for a 128 fluid ounces bottle. I got this gigantic bottle because it is fragrance free, and it's not toxic it's not toxic to the environment i think for this amount gosh the normal soap that i buy is a lot more expensive than this and it's hard to find the fragrance free soap also it's by seventh generation is what i usually get but i would rather support a smaller company that's locally owned and that supports things that are made in the usa so that's why i have switched out <laughs> I will from now on be buying this bulk gallon of dish soap. Moving on down the line here, we got three packs of these household gloves. They are um, cotton flocked lined and they're reusable for quite a while. So I actually have an allergy to hot water. It blisters and causes terrible eczema on my hands. If you experience that too, maybe you need to get yourself some dishwashing gloves. So each one of these pairs of large gloves was $3.76, but they come in packs of three. So I paid $11.30 for those three. The same thing with this walnut scrubber sponge. I got a three pack and those were $3.20 for the pack of three. And that breaks down to a dollar and six cents for one of those. So again, just trying to switch out and make smarter choices and buy locally and that kind of thing, as many products as I can. And Azure Standard allows me to do that. Right here, I got their Palace Fresh Bathroom Cleaner. I just thought I would try that and it's in a nice spray bottle. So that was $6.89 for that 32 ounce uh, bottle of cleaner. I'm gonna give that a try and I'll let you guys know how I like it and if I'm gonna be ordering that again. All right, back here. It's moving along to the jars. 
I got six of these jars and I got 12 lids. The reason why I got 12 lids is because in the future, I plan on ordering the one gallon glass jars and they did not have them in stock this time. So I went ahead and just got six of the half gallon size jars. And those were, let me see, the lids were $8.90 for 12 lids. These jars were $3.10 a piece, but they only come in packs of six. So they were $18.65 for the pack of six. Moving on around here. Uh, we have some apple cider vinegar. This is a raw apple cider vinegar with mother. I got one gallon of that and we like to use this on our vegetables like cucumber pickles. I wrote up there in the top corner, this was $10.91 for the whole thing, but for a quart of it, it's $2.72, which is way better pricing than the apple cider brags that I had been buying previously. Um, it's comparable to the Kroger brand, Simple Truth, um, but I wanted to go ahead and just get a gallon of it. And I like to use these old gallon vinegar jugs uh, as um, little greenhouses for my plants when I start my garden in the springtime. So that's why I like to get the jugs like that and I like to reuse them. Also, you can store water in these for emergencies, you know, to flush the toilet or whatever, when your water goes out, that kind of thing. Same thing for these large jugs right here. I go through a lot of coconut oil. I am gonna be using this to make granola. We go through quite a bit of it. And so this one gallon was $43.95. If you break it down to quarts, it was $10.98 for a quart of virgin expeller pressed coconut oil. Good stuff, I love that. We went through one of these 12 pound jars of honey in three months. I use it in my granola. We use it for all kinds of things. It's basically replacing sugar for us right now. And I drink it in tea every single night. It's even yummy enough to eat by the spoonful. So one pound of this is going to be $3.89 and one quart is going to be $11.65. Now comparing to local raw honey, which I also use for elderberry syrup and I also use medicinally for allergies and things like that in the springtime, Quarts here run about $20 for a quart of local raw honey. And this quart or this um, gallon, sorry, 12 pounds of raw honey is $46.74. So $11.65 a quart for raw honey is a screaming good deal. Still, it's really good stuff. We've been really enjoying it. Let me show you the last jar we had is up here. And yeah, look, it's already empty. This one is empty. So it was time to get more, just in time, three months later. Okay, I have made water kefir in the past and I've also made kombucha for years in the past, but I wanted to start up water kefir again. This was $13.49 for a 10 ounce bag, but um, this is gonna save us a ton of money from buying kombucha and water kefir at the store, and I'm really excited to start making this again. So if you guys click subscribe and stay tuned, I'm gonna be showing you my process, how I do it, and the benefits of water kefir. I already mentioned a few minutes ago that I got this nine grain mix, and I'll be storing it in one of those two gallon buckets, but I got this because somebody commented um, on another one of my videos about using the nine grain mix in their bread. So I'm gonna be incorporating this into my bread machine loaves of bread. This five pound bag of organic cracked grain, um, nine grain mix was $7.87. That is $1.57 per pound. You can also cook this, I believe, and eat it like an oatmeal or like a hot cereal. Um, so that's an option for us as well. We can do overnight oats or something like that. Um, so good stuff. I'm going to give that a try. I got five pounds of Celtic sea salt. I had been using Himalayan pink sea salt for many, many years, but I decided we would try this out. It looks to be a little bit more coarse than what I normally get, even though it says fine ground, but we're going to try this and see how we like it. This bag was quite expensive. I thought for five pounds, it was $43 and 31 cents. That's $8 and 62 cents per pound. Apparently though, it has a lot of minerals in it and things that our bodies need. Does not have iodine, 
but that's okay. Um, I supplement with iodine on the side, so I don't need a, a salt that has iodine, although iodinized salt for some is preferred. But we like our salt as pure as we can get it with as many minerals in it that we can get. We wanna try to give our bodies the best that we can. So with things like salt and just nutrition in general, we try to um, get nutritionally dense products. So we um, also are a primarily carnivore animal product based family. We eat a lot of those types of foods with the exception of my homemade bread and oatmeal. Um, but with that diet, we consume a whole lot of fruit, frozen fruits, um, dried fruits, all that kind of stuff. And these flame raisins were absolutely amazing. I tried some recently and love them. They're so plump and juicy that I bought a five pound bag. Now this five pound bag is massive. It was $18.15. That's $3.63 per pound of organic raisins. Those are gonna be for snacking and trail mix and things like that. And then I got these Thompson raisins for baking and throwing into our oatmeal and putting into our granola and that kind of thing. And these are $16.50. I should mention, I'll be um, putting these in bags for my husband to throw into his golf bag. That'll be a, a quick, easy snack for him to have on the golf course. And when he's in tournaments, when he's out hunting, um, setting up trail cameras, all that kind of stuff, we can have some yummy raisins for him. And then again, like I said, these Thompson raisins were $3.30 per pound, $16.50 for five pounds. $3.30 and this one is $3.63. So the flame raisins were a little bit more expensive. Then right here, I've got these. Oh my goodness. These are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Apple juice infused organic dried cranberry. Um, for us to have healthy snacks in our house, that's not like, you know, junk food or whatever. These are, these are healthy to snack on. These were $37.27 for this five pound bag, and that comes down to $7.45 per pound. We grabbed some organic banana chips. These were $4.09 per pound, and I grabbed two totaling out at $8.18 .18 for those two. Moving along down here, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought five pounds of coconut, but we are gonna be using this massive quantity of coconut, shredded coconut in our granola and to make granola bars. Um, if you haven't checked out that recipe, I will link it up above and down below in this video's description. And you can give my granola bar um, and granola recipe a try. It is yummy, crispy, and crunchy, and the toasted coconut is so good in, in that. This five pound bag was $16.19. That breaks down to $3.83 per pound. We're gonna really enjoy adding extra coconut <laughs> to our granola for the next probably year. I'm gonna be storing this in the freezer. So that should help it last a little bit longer. Here we have these Ticino. We have started switching out and weaning ourselves off of caffeine. And I have been adding half and half Ticino. This is chicory herbal coffee. Um, this was $10.09 per pound, but I got two of them for $20.19. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. It tastes very much like coffee. It is really yummy. So I don't know if my husband's noticed. He probably has. He is has a goal to get completely off of coffee, but we really enjoy the flavor and the taste. So this chicory herbal um, root coffee is delicious. Okay, back here, we grabbed some frozen cherries. These frozen cherries were gonna be exclusively for um, snacking on. We're not gonna be making smoothies with these. So we'll take, you know, we can have a couple frozen, we'll be able to have a couple of frozen cherries. Um, and the price for these was <laughs> $36.75 for five pounds. That breaks down to $7.35 a pound for frozen pitted cherries that can be eaten right out of the bag. Um, so I got those. My husband likes to do fruit cups in the morning, so he'll throw a whole bunch of frozen fruit into a cup. And by the time he gets to his work, he can eat it. And he says it is amazing. It just hits the spot in the morning. He also drinks a jar of bone broth every morning. So bone broth and fruit, first thing on his belly. So he'll be enjoying these as well. And morning bowl of fruit. 
All right, I also grabbed five pounds of frozen blueberries. These are gonna go in our oatmeal or we're just gonna have them for snacking. Um, but these five pounds of blueberries were $17 which is $3.40 a pound, pretty expensive. Um, and then we got some organic butternut squash. I just wanna use that for easy nights, just to throw it in the oven, roast it up, or I can throw it in the Instant Pot and make some butternut squash soup, which is my kid's absolute favorite. I have quite a few squashes still to use up in my pantry from the fall, from harvest season, so I need to use up those squashes before I jump into this, but I thought I would give it a try just to make my life a little bit easier here and there. That was $10.21 for this box of organic butternut squash. That is $2.04 a pound for that. And then on to our dairy products. So Azure also has grass-fed raw dairy products. Um, I don't think this is raw dairy, but this is grass-fed butter. And this grass-fed butter, let me get the price. This butter was $3.84 per eight ounces. I got this whole box for $46.06. That's $7.68 per pound. Um, I do know that this is actually grass-fed butter. I'm not sure that the Kerrygold, I'm not sure what the, you know, drama was with Kerrygold brand butter, but, um, there was some drama about it not being grass fed, but this is grass fed. This is European style vat cultured, and it is made in Willows, California, which is near to us. Um, it is a product of California, so I'm excited to have something that is USA made, you know, basically as local as we can get as far as butter goes without using my raw milk that I get from the farm to make my own butter because this milk that I get from the farm is really expensive and um, I'm just not going to skim off the cream to make butter and buttermilk and all that stuff. So I'm just not doing it. We drink the cream in our coffee. It's so yummy. Back to the rest of this order and it's this five pound block of cheese. I got two five pound blocks of cheese. This breaks down to $6.70 per pound and I got 10 pounds of it. So do the math. It was $67 for these two five pound things of raw medium cheddar. So I'm going to break these down and I'm going to use a food saver and I'm going to vacuum seal these into one pound blocks. I'm also going to be shredding some of it and sticking that in the freezer and also cubing some of it up for snacks and setting that in the freezer. When I vacuum seal this cheese into smaller portions, I'm going to be able to use these awesome stickers that they gave me and label it that way when I have all my cheese in the freezer and I have a variety of cheeses in there, I'm going to know which ones are the raw medium cheddar. How awesome is that? It makes a lot of sense for me and my family to buy organic food in bulk. It saves us a ton of money. We are a family of seven, and I just think it's wonderful that we have this option locally. I went this morning at 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, got my products from the drop location. It was such a smooth, streamlined process. I think that you guys would find the same thing that you would enjoy using these products and eating these products and being nourished by these products. If you wanna give Azure Standard a try, look down in the description below for links to all of these products, as well as your chance to go shopping there and getting your own referral code that will get you $25 Azure cash back on future purchases. Um, it's a great deal. It helps out you and it's going to help out people in your community. If you don't have a drop location near you, you can definitely organize your own drop location and get that all sorted. It's a super easy process to do that. We have one that's about 15 minutes away from us. So it's really nice that we get to do that because my family is in the military. We are at a remote location and finding organic foods in bulk around here is very hard to do. Uh, we are very limited in what we have in this town, and the next town over to access bulk organic products is about an hour and a half's drive over a very snowy, snowy mountain pass, and not something that we're willing to do in the winter. So this works out 
really well for us. I'm excited to share this with you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned a few things about placing your Azure standard order that helps streamline the process for you and helps you get the most bang for your buck when you're buying your bulk organic products. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Until next time, bye. If you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button and stick around for more holistic homemaking.